Hello everyone. Assalamu alaikum. This is Abbas Hussain with you and we have covered two sessions before. Now it's uh, session number three uh, with Red Hat RSCE EX294 V9 exam preparation. So uh, we have discussed something about points this has done sorry done okay now let's talk something about this red hat subscription okay when you will go to developer.redhat.com and will download the ISO image, what it will do, it will activate with new user ID. Okay, let's make it clear. If you have created a new email ID, a new user ID on Red Hat portal, and you are going to have this site, developer.redhat.com, with that user ID, and you are going to download that any ISO, uh, let's say we have downloaded RHL 9.3. Or I have downloaded RHEL 9.0. It will activate Red Hat developers subscription for one year to that user. Okay. Based on ID in which you have shown. Okay, that's fine till here. So one thing regarding Red Hat subscription, whenever you will create a new user ID on Red Hat portal or RHN ID, and you are going to download something from developer.redhat.com site, uh, like we have downloaded ISO image, then Red Hat will activate a Red Hat subscription for that user for one year. Okay, what it will include? System updates, Red Hat repositories, access. Okay. So later on in the lab, we will see how we can enable and disable these uh, repositories or we, how we can register with the by registering with that ID on Red Hat Enterprise Linux. Okay. So this is something about Red Hat subscription. The second way is that after one year, Uh, if you are working in a company, then in that case, you have to buy Red Hat subscription to gain all Red Hat updates and features, security updates.
एंड रेड हेट सेंट्रल रेपोजिटरी एक्सेस ओके सो द सेकेंड ऑप्शन इज दिस नाउ हाउ यू कैन एक्टिवेट दिस दिस देर आर टू वेस GUI during OS installation CLI based command line method after installation okay when you will start the installation you will assign ips you will assign name at the, that time you can register with red hat subscription or you can register, register your os with the red hat portal how you can use your rhn id okay and password same thing you can do later on after the installation using cli method so in my videos i will tell you the both methods when we will create the lab in one system we will go with the gui install uh, method during the installation and second system we will go with the cli method and how to enable repositories okay so for are working this red hat one year subscription is enough for our working okay and one method that i have missed last time while we were doing downloading from this okay uh, let's open my opera browser okay here just i am opening developer.redhat.com it's just for the again information i have told already but now i am again telling you just go to uh, red hat linux red hat enterprise linux and here you have option download rhl at no cost that's fine but now let's say you have just opened redhat.com here you don't you don't know you don't have information about what is red hat developers portal or something in that case you just have to go products enterprise linux then try it okay then start your trial what is saying what you get with this product trial a single 60 days self supported subscription from red hat server access red hat hands uh, red hat's award winning customer portal including documentation helpful video discussion and more a single entitled to all available version of this product but it's just for the 60 days while if you are doing the same thing from the red hat developers portal you will get access for one year so let's say uh, let me show you another thing uh this is my uh, another red hat id i'm just going to click it next it's password then products and services is the documentation i don't want to go there 
just go to all products here you can choose red hat enterprise linux again then download or you can down select the version 9 I'm just going to download. It will redirect to me, uh, me to the original link. Here you will see download now, show the date. But if you wanted to go the previous version, you can also have that at somewhere. So you can download this from here also. Okay. So <clears throat> again, products, Red Hat Enterprise Linux. Try it, let's say, just I click on it for a normal user. Maybe he can forget the old link that I was using before. Start your trial. And okay, it will start downloading this image. If I wanted to download the previous version from here, from this link, just if you looking for a previous version of this product, just start here. Okay, here you can see uh, just select the version and from here you can download the this binary dvd everything from here so this is the another method how you can download the old version okay but what i will recommend i always recommend you don't need to go anywhere you just have to go to red hat portal which is developers.redhat.com. From there, you can select Red Hat Enterprise Linux and download from here. Okay. So, at the conclusion, what we have to do for our practice, just download H double TPS colon colon or slash slash developer dot red hat dot okay i hope now you can understand what i am trying to tell you so it's not the deal if you wanted to download from red hat dot com it's okay but for our practice you can download from here just log in with your id and the password you have already created and go here and I have told you about the subscription features and what you will get if you are using from the developer.redhat.com subscription. Okay, during the lab, we will see how we can uh, register with Red Hat uh, with GUI method and with CLI method. Okay. So let's, uh, let's end it this video here and come with this next session.